Hello everyone. I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we'll check the given relation is reflexive or symmetric or trans2. What they given R is a relation in set of all integers. This relation is defined on set of all integers. And the relation R is defined as it contains an order pair x comma y such that x minus y is an integer. That is, what is x here? You observe this relation R. What is x? x? x is an element in z. That means x is integer. What is y? y is also an element in z. That means y is also integer. For example, you take two integers, you subtract 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. Minus 1 is integer or not? Yes, that means the ordered pair 2 comma 3 belongs to R. Such ordered pairs will be there in the relation. Now, now we'll, we need to check that this relation is reflexive or symmetric or transitive. Now, first we'll check this relation is reflexive or not. How to check reflexive property? First, we'll take one integer for any x belongs to z i'll take an integer now if ordered pair x comma x if the ordered pair x comma x is also there in the relation then we say that this relation is reflexive relation okay i taken x is an integer what is x minus x x minus x is what x minus x is zero zero is an integer or not Yes, 0 is an integer. I hope you know what are integer set. Integer set is, these are the integers, 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and so on. This is integer set. So, 0 is an integer. What I want to say here, x minus x is integer. If x minus x is integer, ordered pair x comma x will be there in the relation. Ordered pair x comma x belongs to R. For any x belongs to Z, ordered pair x comma x belongs to R, then we say that that relation is reflexive relation. The relation R is reflexive. If you take an x in Z, ordered pair x comma x also belongs to R, then we say that the relation R is reflexive relation. Now we need to check that this relation is symmetric or not. Symmetric relation. How to check? the relation is symmetric or not. First, we will take an ordered pair x comma y in the relation. First, you take one ordered pair in the relation. Let x comma y belongs to R. If we prove that ordered pair y comma x also belongs to R, then we say that that relation is reflexive relation. Okay. First, we take an ordered pair x comma y belongs to R. If ordered pair x comma y belongs to R, what we can say from the definition of a relation? If ordered pair x comma y belongs to R, we can say that x minus y is an integer. We can say that x minus y is an integer. Okay. If x minus y is integer, minus of x minus y is also integer. Please try to understand. Suppose 4 is integer, correct or not? Minus 4 is also integer. You, you see, minus 5 is integer. Minus of minus 5 is also integer. Minus of minus 5 is what? 5. Like that, if x minus y is integer, minus of x minus y is also an integer. Is also an integer. Is also an integer. See, you multiply with minus, what this will be? This will be minus of minus is plus here. Y minus X is an integer. Y minus X is an integer. Y minus X is integer. You observe the relation. If Y minus X is integer, this tells that the ordered pair Y comma X will be there in the relation. If you take ordered pair X comma Y in the relation, we came to know that ordered pair Y comma X also there in the relation. From this, we can say that the relation R is symmetric. We can say that the relation R is a symmetric relation. Now we need to check that the relation is transitive or not. <coughs> we need to check a transitive relation. Okay. Transitive. 
the given relation is transitive or not okay transitive relation how to check the transitive relation first we'll take a pair of ordered pair which is of the form x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r first we will take an order pair which is of the form x comma y and y comma z here you have to observe that first order pair ends with y second order pair starts with y now you need to check that x comma z ordered pair x comma z belongs to r or not if ordered pair x comma z belongs to r then we say that this relation is transitive otherwise we say that this relation is not transitive see if order pair x comma y belongs to r what we can say from this we can say that x minus y is integer x minus y is an integer as per the definition now y comma and y order pair y comma z belongs to r means what y minus z is an integer y minus z is an integer if x minus y is integer y minus z is integer addition of these two numbers is also integer try to understand x minus y is integer y minus z is integer addition of two integers is always integer you can check you take the 3 is one integer 9 is one integer addition of integers is again an integer you take minus 3 plus 5 uh, addition of two integers is again an integer addition of integers is again an integer if x minus y is integer y minus z is integer then addition of two integers is again an integer is an integer it is an integer now you check here this minus y plus y will get cancelled what is remaining you will get that x minus z is an integer x minus z is an integer if x minus z is integer what we can say from the definition we from the definition of relation we can say that ordered pair x comma z belongs to r therefore we say that the relation r is transitive relation the relation r is transitive so this relation is a reflexive relation and this relation is a symmetric relation and this relation is transitive also so we can say that this relation is a equivalence relation also i hope you understand this class if you like this video please share it with your friends and press like button if you have any doubts please comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Thank you.